So, Majin Oob or Oob, you know. Sorry, um, bro, where is this dude? Like, genuinely, where is this dude? I don't care. I don't care. Hold on, let me talk to y'all nicely because I know one of my comments is like, oh, you got a deep voice. I want to hear your voice. Let me go crazy. Let me, let me see you with the monitor. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I personally have been asking this for the longest time. Like, where is Oob? Like, respectfully, where is Oob? People feel like super is like so great and all that and how they do so much good as far as like deepening the character and deepening these guys and putting them more than just punch jockeys and all those things and i'm like that's cool and all that's cute and all but like where's Oob? like all of that shit aside where is Oob? because they keep building him up they keep mentioning him they keep throwing him in our faces every now and then and i'm like dude why isn't he in the story gold Hand and trunks are at that ripe age of end of z right now like they're getting a little bit too close for comfort for my taste and i don't understand why we can't just have oob in here i've never understood that personally it's like it's such a weird thing to gatekeep as well like of all things to say hey man we gonna be a little bit tongue-in-cheek with why this one when we know this is the most concrete thing that it's going to happen and if not then why even make the character i feel like toriyama didn't really think it through with oob as far as like his creation he was like oh yeah this is gonna be like the next stepping off point for goku this is his next journey but i feel like we're never gonna get oob in the story because toriyama wants to keep goku naive and a student he doesn't want goku to have the master role he doesn't want him to be a mentor to other people that's why he they keep making him pretty much functionally slow literally so that's why i don't understand why like even to me i pretty much answered my own question as far as why he's in the story because toriyama's a man child and wants to keep writing goku like a man child instead of having him be just a mentor something that he would be ready for at this stage of his life like that was the whole thing with the whole visual detail with goku in the cell saga and why he didn't need logos anymore and and it just felt so good like on a visual level because it visually told a story that he is no longer anyone's student that he's a master that he's taught the next generation his son to carry on his legacy he gave him the tools for him to be successful on his own and like for that to be thrown away for just student goku is stupid to me it's the dumbest decision i've ever seen i don't get why like we've seen success stories with like um naruto um him taking the mentor role finally the biggest goofball in the lee village is now a mentor figure and a leader figure and the fact that i don't know why people think that goku can't do that when he's done it before like i don't i don't understand this uh this weird relationship a lot of the fan base has with goku in his story right now it's like they completely ignore the fact that goku is basically nowhere near he's pretty much half the man he used to be as far as his mental intelligence is concerned and it's so corny to me how this guy has to bleed over to the storytelling and i have to bleed over in the meta of dragon ball i just don't understand it but to get back on topic that was a random tangent uh yeah Oob needs to be in the story like it would be so much more compelling if Oob was in the story you could do so much more with Oob that it's crazy that no one wants to just like tackle this story arc having Oob in the story having him interact with our cast it could be like a, a visual representation of um what the new people who are getting into super could feel like and who they could cling to as like a, a point of view character and yet they don't do anything with that and instead they just make him ambiguous they make his situation just three question marks long and they just leave it there. And I don't understand why they do that because it doesn't make any sense thematic. Like you can make So today's shout out goes out to Jonah Finch. This was from my Echo video and let's get into it. <clears throat> Basically, they took Echo's character and said, fuck that, what her actual abilities are in the comics, we are going to change them and give her a lame power. Personally, that was the weirdest thing about the show to me, as far as like, you know, besides the amputee thing, which also made no sense, by the way. But yeah, it's weird. It's a very weird relationship Marvel has with their own characters where they're like, let's change whatever we don't like about it because we don't like it. I don't know. It pissed me off. Peace make so many more interesting stories like can you imagine start of the battle of god saga opening up with him training oob or even better the freaking tournament of power arc you know him finding oob instead of just saying oh he's too young right now like that's why again the problem with super is that it's not stated and started after z if it started after z a lot of the problems i would have with super would just wash away it just would because you would have these characters grow and mature, i.e. go to any trunks. We don't have to wait like five years for that to happen. Jesus, Toriyama, why? What is wrong with you? Just let these dudes grow up. What is the problem? Why do they have to take this long? And on top of that, a lot of the stories, we, we didn't even have to ask so many questions. 
You know, we'd have to ask, oh, if Beerus has been around this long time, then why didn't nothing else happen? If freaking Kai's have God Key, how come Goku and something, something can sense it? Or you could just keep adding on to the list of so many different problems with Super not being started at the end of Z. Because one, we can't have Oog, we can't have another point of view character, we can't have a grown up hand, we can't have any of these stories because we have to push, oh, I don't know, children Dragon Ball. Or we have to push it towards children, which is again, another reason why Goku is not a teacher anymore, why he is basically barely a man. And that's the primest reason I can think of right there. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And why Oob has to be uh, subtracted from the story. Every arc that has came out since his initial. He was introduced way back in the moral arc. As far as his first visual debut. He was in the moral arc. Literally. Like bro. We is like what? Two arcs deep now? And no Oob still? Crazy. That dude ain't getting any younger at this point. Like bro. What's going on with this dude? I want to see where they will take his story. I want to see what canon sources can do with Oob as a character. And I just feel like we're never going to get that because Toriyama has his thumb planted firmly up his own ass for whatever reason. It's so weird to me that no one talks about this. But hey, at the end of the day, that's just my take on the situation. Guys, let me know yours in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.